Hey guys, this is Dagger26, and um, today I'm doing a redo of my once 100 high grade, non grade, no grade, whatever floats your boat grade, basically, Hail Strike Gundam. You can, as you can see, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, this is like. I guess you can say one of my first Gundam models I bought real really really early um as you know there's attempts of weathering right here on the skirts go around the back you know more weathering on the skirt a little bit on the sh you know the shoulders <clears throat> anyway colors you know let's see no stickers as always Colors are MCA blue, Italian red, a gold for the V fan and the eyes, um, gunmetal for the arms and joints, and you know it's uh, I guess pure white or gloss white, one of those two. <clears throat> Let's get down to articulation. Head can go all the way around. Just need to watch out for the the sides of the helmets. They might get caught in the this big, you know, collar he has. Arms can go all the way around. They can go in and out about that high. The shoulder can, you know, come out to about gay gay far. Can rotate below the shoulder. Bend at the elbow at one point. And wrist can rotate and wiggle. Waist can go about that far if you, you know, pull out of the the peg. But, you know, it's like this, so it can only about that far. I don't know why. It must be something with the design. Skirt armor can go about that high. Side skirt can go in and out. And... Rotate a little bit. Back skirts cannot move at all. Uh, legs can go about forwards, backwards, um, in and out. Knees are double jointed somewhat. Not a lot. Can get about a 190 degrees. Go for I don't know. Go calculate that. And not like huge on math. Foot armor, or I guess ankle guards can go up and down. Feet can, you know, swivel somewhat. They can go, they have a ball joint in, in here and here. So you can, you know, have some full range of movement there. Get some nice poses. <clears throat> so that's the AO strike. Um. Well, that's actually the Strike Gundam on its own. Oh, it also has a... Move that out of the way. Some uh, panels on the side skirts that open up. And there are little uh, folded up knives. And then Bandai also gave you some uh, little knives about the high. Little, little, little. Put that in the hand. And you can go around... Killing people with the knife. Shanks, as they say. <clears throat> what else? He does come with um, the shield. And I, I am doing this backwards, so I'm still trying to learn. Red, gold, white, some gunmetal on the back. And the handle does come off. Like so. And you can put it in either a one, two, or three. I like to put it in the second slot. Very easy to hold. So all you do is plug it in and line it up in the hand like so. And that shield is not going anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. He does come with an extra hand for the beam rifle. And look at that hand. That's my uh my attempt of bow damage somewhat. 
put that on the hand. It's not a trigger figure hand, it's like another hand like this. I don't know why they didn't, you know, include the trigger finger hand. Go figure. Now, there is a reason why this is called the L Strike. Because it does come with a L Pack. Yay! We off screen. So, it does come with a peg right there. And there's a hole in his back. Uh, somewhere in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So all you do is line it up and push. And it does make them back heavy, so be aware of that. And there you go. You we have the we have. The AO Strike Gundam here, guys. The most, you know, it was, you know, a very popular, you know, mobile suit in the Seed series. Until we got the Freedom and then the Strike Freedom. So, yeah, this is the mobile suit that started the season for the main character, uh, Kira, Kira Yamato. Very nice. Head. Well, now the head's kind of limited now because he has, you know, these, um, I guess, exhaust pipe t type things, maybe? Uh, let's go around to the back. Show you more, you know. I'm going to this side. These wings part. Oh, wait. There we go. These wings do not move. They are, you know, stable. But these thrusters do move up and down, left and right. And all that good stuff. Change his hand real quick to show you something. He has come with um, stand up. There's a reason why you have big feet. He does come with uh, let's see where is it? A beam saber handle. Very you know nothing detailed, just like a round cylinder type thing and he does come with pink beams yay they didn't give us the full white you know plastic put down the hand oh no I broke his hand and there you go get some nice you know bow poses with this you know have him like you know facing off with the Aegis Gundam yeah Aegis Aegis Something like that, Gundam. <clears throat> well, guys, that's basically about it for the Strike Gundam. So, um, yeah, pretty much that's about it. So, guys, I'll catch you guys maybe at the next review.